Okay, we had quite the adventure. We decided to leave the homestead for a couple of days with our camper. I'll be right back to tell you the chaos that happened. Okay, so we're going down the road. We were heading to Texas. We're pulling the camper. Everything's fine. And uh, we had our granddaughter with us. You saw her in the last couple videos. And all of a sudden, we had no, no, um, the transmission wasn't turning. And the truck was revving. Well, we got off to the side of the road, luckily, right next to the, the highway, which was a very scary situation. So, what happened was, the hose came off of the transmission, and we lost all of our transmission fluid. And in this emergency, I realized a couple of things. What we actually have to have, or should have, in our vehicle, in the case of breaking down. We were on the freeway, we were not close to anything, it, it was it was very fortunate we had the camper behind us because when we go camping we always have extra stuff inside our truck you know snacks and water and stuff like that so I'm here to tell you and I want to share with you my experience that I'm going to from now on I'm gonna make sure I have water at least one bottle and these were a blessing these are wipes and I always make sure I buy wipes that doesn't have any added, a lot of added things to it. And what happened was my husband had to get under the truck and he got transmission fluid all over his head, all over his arms. I mean, it was, it was sad. It was just sad. And luckily when he come to the window and said, do you have anything? I said, oh, I have wipes. And so I got wipes and we used almost the whole package of wipes. Um, and then luckily we had water. So, cause we were there about four hours broke down and uh, so and I did learn one other thing too is we live out in the out in the country and so I've never had a reason to use uber uber never had a reason to use it my husband ended up getting the hose fixed back on the transmission and then we needed transmission fluid so we had called our roadside assistants and they were like well we can't find anybody that will deliver you transmission fluid and uh, and so I said okay give me a couple minutes let me call and so I called um, AutoZone and I said, is there any way we could pay somebody to deliver us transmission fluid? And the gentleman said, well, we deal with Uber all the time. And I was like, Uber, okay. I, I've heard of Uber, but I don't have an account. And so I hung up and I, I got on my phone, I made an account and, and anyway, it all worked out. But that's another thing. Now, if I, had, if I had known this information prior, I'd already had an account with Uber because on the side of the road as we're broke down, I'm sitting there making an Uber account and figuring out how to actually use Uber. Um, and it ended up working out. Uh, everything ended up working out, but I learned from it. So I just wanted to share that to make sure you have water, wipes, a towel. Um, I'm going to put a towel in the back of my car now because we were, he had to lay down in, in such dirt, such gravel and dirt. You can imagine on the side of the freeway and we did not have a towel for him to lay on. And so he was just filthy. He was ate up by bugs and um, rocks poking him. And so I'm gonna put a towel in there. Um, and I now know how to do Uber. And I definitely have water in my car now. So just a couple of things to think about. If you broke down, maybe, maybe just kind of think to yourself or go sit in your car and think, I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I broke down. What am I gonna do? And I'll tell you one other thing is when I called the roadside assistance, they said, where are you? Luckily, we were right in front of an exit sign, but it got me, got me to thinking that as much as we travel, if we would have been in the middle of the freeway or in a back road, I would have had no idea. So I learned that you can go on your Google or your Apple, and um, I don't remember exactly how I did it, but you can find out your exact location by doing that. So instead of panicking and not knowing where you're at, make sure you have one of those maps downloaded on your phone. So it just was quite the experience. Uh, luckily, we got fixed, everything worked out, um, and we're back safely at home, except we're getting ready to leave tomorrow. But um, it's just, I just wanted to share that, you know, especially a lot of us women, we don't think about that. We don't think, oh, an umbrella. An umbrella is another thing. It was pouring down rain. And now he didn't want an umbrella. But had we had to walk, I would have been very grateful to have an umbrella. So um, that's something else. Of course, I keep an umbrella in my car. 
all the time. But if you don't, I would suggest doing an umbrella as well. Because you never know when you break down. I mean, like, even if it's kind of chilly outside, you should have a coat in the car, even if you're not wearing it. Because if you've got to get out and walk a mile, you're going to be freezing. So, anyway, I just wanted to share you, my, our experience with you. And maybe you can learn something from it, take something away from it. And maybe it'll save you from having to be miserable sitting alongside the road if you ever break down. Okay, thanks for watching. Happy traveling. Bye-bye.